I call Kevin Haig. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. I want to start this contribution uh, with one of the points that John O'Neill has just made in that speech of his, where, where he says that this bill does not undermine or cut across the purpose of the Principal Act. Um, well, Mr Speaker, the purpose of the Principal Act is harm minimisation. Uh, the Law Commission and this House was clear that one of the ways that that needed to be done was by restricting the hours that alcohol was available for sale. So that seems kind of cutting across crossy to me. And then what we said in the debate around this bill, uh, when, it, uh, when it went through the House in 2012, um, was that uh, we, would, we would deal with events that fell outside of normal licensed hours by means of special licences. Um, and uh, we specified that the Rugby World Cup and indeed international sporting fixtures more generally were precisely the kinds of things for which special licences were created. And Mr Speaker, what that does of course is it enables licensing committees to assess an application for a special licence according to the circumstances of the applicant and enables the licensing committee to impose conditions that are able to meet the primary objective of the Principal Act to minimise harm associated with that extension of licensed hours. So it seems to me that when Alistair, Alistair Scott in the second reading said what this parliament is doing is um, going over the heads of local government and imposing a blanket special licence to almost everyone, actually that is precisely what cutting across the intent of the original Act is all about. So, Mr Speaker, uh, it would have been possible, if we are creating uh, a special licence for everyone effectively, um, then the onus should be on this House to set the conditions at the level that, that licensing committees would have chosen to set at the most restrictive level uh, had they been assessing individual applications for special licences. This House, in this bill, is choosing not to do that. Submitters to the Select Committee in large number told us what the conditions ought to be. This House is choosing to ignore most of what they said. I want to come to the issue of whether or not this bill is necessary, because in a number of the contributions uh, this afternoon and this evening, I've heard uh, members uh, continuing to quote the same kinds of statements that we've heard from proponents of the bill, that the special licensing regime would have been the right way to do this, but sadly it just isn't working. You know, that people aren't getting licences, the licences they're getting have onerous conditions. I just want to put on record the evidence that was heard by the Select Committee about that issue. So here's the evidence, Mr Speaker. The Committee saw no evidence whatsoever that any special licence had been refused anywhere. The Select Committee received no submission from any licensee saying, well, I received a special licence, but the conditions on it were too onerous. The committee heard from the New Zealand Police in their submission opposing the bill um, that special licences had been issued in all police districts except two, and in the two where special licences had not been issued, uh, that was because applications had not been made, not because they'd been refused. So it seems to me, Mr Speaker, that the evidence, the actual evidence before this House's select committee actually suggests that the evidence of the problem is in the very best instance exaggerated. We also heard about uh, a licensed premises in Rotorua, I think it was, who had applied for and received special licences to open and serve alcohol during 23 Rugby World Cup games. It's been referred to already in the, select, in the second reading debate. And Mr Speaker, uh, they found that the uh, conditions initially imposed by the licensing committee were more onerous than they would have preferred. They appealed against those licensing conditions and had almost all of them thrown out. So it seems to me that if indeed there, there is a problem in some parts of the country with um, perhaps bizarre or maybe more onerous conditions being imposed, actually that's, that suggests that the courts themselves will in fact even that problem out. 
Mr Speaker, when we heard in the, um, in the lead up to, to uh, this bill being considered uh, the case that the special licensing regime was not working as this House intended, the correct response to that problem is that we ought to have a review of implementation of the special licensing uh, regime and then, to create, and, and then to correct problems with it, if indeed they exist. And Mr Speaker, the reason that's important is, uh, for, is for one that, um, that Grant Robertson, in fact, in the House in this reading, uh, has already made. What next? What next, Mr Speaker? If this is the approach that we're taking to the Rugby World Cup, the thinnest end of the wedge, will the next bill be about the Cricket World Cup or the Netball World Cup? Um, or, the or, or the Rowing World Cup. You know, the, what is actually happening here is industry and people who were, um, who were disgruntled with the original legislation that this House passed in 2012 are attempting to relitigate that point. So, Mr Speaker, a review of the implementation of special licensing is required and the Green Party urges the Minister of Justice to initiate such, such an inquiry. Mr Speaker, we agreed, the Green Party agreed, uh, to allow this bill uh, to go forward to a select committee so that the public's views could be heard on the basis, first of all, that uh, claims were being made that the special licensing regime um, was not working as intended. Those have proved exaggerated at best. And also on the basis of undertakings made by the Act and national parties. I'm sad to say that those undertakings have not been honoured. Mr Speaker, uh, I want to move now to, uh, to talk about another of the arguments that's been made by the Bill's proponents. So the Bill's proponents have depicted New Zealand's drinking culture in a way that differs extremely starkly from the picture painted by the Law Commission, by the police, by New Zealand's medical and other health professionals, by Women's Refuge and other community organisations who work uh, with the consequences of, of alcohol abuse. <coughs> Mr Speaker, proponents of the bill have described New Zealand's drinking culture as sophisticated, mature and moderate. When they've described how this bill will, will work in practice, they've described people turning up to a, to a bill, perhaps a family atmosphere, eating breakfast, drinking coffee, um, uh, as we've heard one proponent of the bill saying, saying this evening, they're more likely to be suffering the ill effects of an excess of bacon and coffee when they leave. Well, Mr Speaker, I'm sure we can all probably think of uh, premises like that. I certain, certainly can. Um, but, Mr Speaker, my flat in Wellington is about a block away from Courtney Place. And I can tell the House that uh, on... Uh, Arguably, most mornings of the week, one has to be careful for the first few hundred metres of my walk to work to dodge the, the uh, debris um, of the previous night's consumption of alcohol. Specifically, the vomit, whether it be dry or still wet, actually is a regular feature of inner city Wellington. Mr Speaker, while we can think of plenty of premises where that is the culture, I will bet that every single member of this House can think of at least one premises who will look at this bill, rub their hands and say, great, I can extend the hours in which I can sell alcohol and all I have to do is buy a TV and a Sky subscription. That's a pretty good deal. Mr Speaker, if proponents of the bill are serious about that culture, how about this for a two-tier system? Let's remind the police that this House wanted the special licensing regime to be available for Rugby World Cup games. And at the same time, let's amend the Principal Act. Let's amend it to allow all licensed premises to open for every single Rugby World Cup game, provided that they don't sell alcohol. We'd vote for that bill. <laughs>